Okay, so we saw where we can build volume. We can do a very nice ear tuck on this shag style. We can move around the part. We can move around the bangs. Now, I want to work with this style to bring out the texture. For you. As you know, I do have a review out there on the Aesthetica Sea Salt Spray. It's fantastic. It is one of those wig products that has a really unique uh, effect and it does work. So this really gives you that nice tassel beach wave look. Um, it accentuates the texture that's already there and sometimes you can get a little bit of texture even if you don't have much uh, in the style to begin with. So what I'm gonna do is start with just a little bit of plain water. I'm just gonna mist. Just mist, shake a little bit as I'm holding it upside down. When you hold it upside down, it gives those fibers a chance to fall away from the cap and uh, anything else. It just, it works better for bringing out texture, volume, and lift. Okay, so now that I have a little bit of water here, I'm gonna go ahead with the sea salt spray. Sea salt spray also, uh, in addition to uh, bringing out the texture, um, it provides a little bit of coarseness to the fiber and it allows you to style and manipulate it maybe a little more easily than with water alone or nothing. So again, I'm going to just be rather conservative here, initially at least. with my application. I'm gonna scrunch it. Just give it a moment. By applying that water first, it doesn't dry immediately. Um, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to assume that it's dry. Wow, now it's palpable, just the extra diameter that you're getting in the fiber from that texturizing spray. It, it is, it's palpable and you can definitely see it. It definitely has more hold than just water alone. Water will bring out texture, but once it dries it, it can easily fall out. Um, but in this case, this is still slightly damp, of course, but I expect that it will dry in exactly this way. Wow. Definitely brings out the texture, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Just can't stop messing with it, right? <laughs> I don't think I need to put any more spray in there. So like I said, if you're applying directly to dry hair, it's gonna take more product to achieve the same result. And then it might get a little gummy and sticky because of all the product, depending on the level of texture that you want. Um, but by first spraying water, that helps bring out the texture. And then, then by it, applying just a little of the sea salt spray, you can generally reach your desired result with less product with equal hold. So, doggone cute. And then here is a very important thing I want you to know um, that I have learned about the texturizing spray. So if you use texturizing spray and you get it exactly the way you want it and you wear it a few times and then you either store it on your mannequin head or in your box or whatnot, you might find that over time, it's not as separated. The texture isn't quite as much, even despite shaking it, combing it out and stuff. It just doesn't go back to the way it looked originally. Well, I'm here to tell you, you don't need any new product in that hair because if you put more product in it, it's just gonna get a little gummier for you. 
So all you have to do to revive it is to squirt some water and scrunch again. That water is going to bring back that original look that you had when you first applied that texturizing spray. In fact, I would not apply any more of the sea salt spray until after I washed it um, when it needs washing. But between those times, I would, uh, I would definitely just stick with water to help revive the texture. Okay. Just adorable, isn't it? Well, I hope this was fun and helpful. We'll see you again soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio.